Welcome back everyone and let's play Rule the Waves 3 as Germany episode number 45. I'm a little under the weather but I'm going to record this episode. We'll just make it a, a quicker one to make sure we get some continuity of content being released. I have kids who are just like infected germ bags and they just love getting me sick. <laughs> so it's a pretty constant thing around here. Anyway, um, we don't have enough time. I think this is the, yeah, it's evaluated in six months or in one month. So, um, we had some good feedback in the comment section. Good comment section, as always, I should say. Um, yeah, good feedback. We don't have time to change anything. We got to run with this because, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, we have to start building them this month. I thought there might have been some people who made some good comments about stuff. I'm, I just looked at the comments maybe like five or ten minutes ago. Um... Yeah. Okay. Here's one example. You could, if you wanted, go to 2.5. And this is—is is this for the mains or the secondaries? I think for secondaries, two is already considered um, armored because they don't go up by that. Yeah, I'm sure of that the cost is—it's scaling in a manner which is what I would expect. What you can see on single guns for like uh, destroyers, I think light cruisers as well, is that oh, not destroyers, but just light cruisers. Uh, if you armor the guns over two inches, they uh, they take a, a huge jump in weight, and that's because they become not just shielded mounts, they become full armor turrets. And that does make a big difference, um, as one person was, I think it was Lin Linarii, maybe again, um, was saying, but uh, I don't think it's worth it, um, in all cases at least. Uh, I don't think it's worth it to do that for secondary guns, but I, I don't know if secondary guns even have that effect. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and lay down four of these guys, which with our budget is going to be a challenge to to withstand. Um, I probably do have to go off and rename a lot of these. Man, when are these due out? Six months? Well, I better get to that right now. Oh man, that took a long time. I actually ran out of light cruiser names. We had to go down to the destroyers. Some of these are borderline, but you know what? I, I kind of just entered the zone of copy paste, and well, whatever they are, they are, they stay. Um, I did reserve a couple. John Wisby, I saw you on the list. I don't know if you're still following the series, but uh, I saved yours. I was like, this is one that's got to be a cruiser class. So we saved a few of those. Okay, what is next? Yeah, we got to build these things, which we've done. Okay, that's true, and I renamed those as well. I'll rename Nuremberg was one. Did I get that right? One sec. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Okay, good. Then there it is. We move on. We hit the next turn and we see what happens. Oh. We had one more month. Well, not that we could have re uh, redesigned it in one month. It would have taken a couple. Oh yeah, back to planes. That's right. Now, we have a bit of a budget problem, but not that big of one. I think this is probably manageable, especially because these light cruisers are going to be finishing up pretty soon. And this is probably what the game wants us to design. So we'll have one extra gun over these kind of ships, these 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. We'll lose a gun to anybody doing a 2-3-3-2 two, three, three, two, like I was thinking of doing. They're superimposed b months. We'll come up with a, a better light cruiser. I think we have our, this uh, showy class is probably going to be the um, blockade point cruiser, the last one that we need to do, but probably the, the blockade cruiser. We made enough of them for crying out loud, right? I forgot how many, 24, yeah. So these can slowly replace the Bodevigs and the Bodensees. How many do I have? 24, 27, and almost one to, I, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, but we can get rid of these eventually. Is the Trier, is it time for her to go yet? Probably. But time for all these guys to go. That's right, I was trying to get them out of their zones. So sea zone, Baltic, Caribbean, Indian. Indian is... 3,000, so we actually could, well, there, there's two, one or two though. Ah, there's two. 
8,000. If we lost 8,000, we would definitely be under the limit. Uh, bummer. Who all's there? Yeah, we got four Corvettes. Now, obviously, it doesn't add up, right? I don't know. I, I wish I think, there's got to be a way. What's their foreign tonnage amount? Oh, these guys are all outdated. Well, let's just refit them. Nope. Don't care. Just redo. Are we out on tonnage? <laughs> I was kind of reckless about that. Oh, we got Gregor Muckenbergers that need to be replaced. We got a lot of stuff. These Delphins, which are... Okay, we can replace the ones in Northern Europe. Get those done. I do wish the game wouldn't reset you all the way back to the top. Sometimes I want to keep going. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a pain in the butt to do the foreign stations, but that's probably what I <coughs> excuse me, should be doing. We can get more. Just pile them in. Indian Ocean. Just throw them everywhere. Indian Ocean. What are the other places we need? Uh, the Caribbean and Central Pacific. Okay. Let's go to the Caribbean. And maybe Central Pacific. Seems like a lot. Maybe I have too many. <laughs> What's the tonnage requirement? Whoops. None. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> Let's add the dirt. All right, we did it. We could then proceed to cancel our uh, battle cruisers. I think it goes away. So I don't like to do that. I mean, it's cost effective, I think, to do it. Actually, it doesn't really matter. You just take prestige hit or whatever. I mean, you probably could just take it on the chin to say F you. Yeah, I said I was going to do it to get money, but then I didn't actually build them. That's fine. Oh, man. They actually show airports on the map now. Okay, that's cool. I guess we should probably build some <laughs> some uh, airfields. Yeah, uh, we'll take one in the Hubs Haven, I guess. And we'll take one in Tonder. I should have had it in Emden rather than Will Hubs Haven. That was stupid. I just, uh, yeah, that was stupid. Uh, well, let's get one into Emden as well. I I don't think that we're we really don't need. I guess I can go to stupid Emden, and then I guess we could go over here and cancel this. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, because I don't think we need anything. We'll just. I mean, we could build up them in all the places but I don't think we need it uh, mostly we need it as far to the west and as far to the north as possible Pilau is a good call honestly probably Riga as well do who owns oh we have Reval then Reval absolutely Reval gotta be Reval in fact we might even we gotta build stuff at Reval Yeah, but oh, it's just general. Okay, two here, but then build in 
an air base it revolve there we go okay good I think actually Lebao would be a very good call as well it just seems like it's so close that we should build it there as well and then I think maybe Palau still do we do it I actually build it I forgot did I get one there Did I do it? I did not. Oh yeah, Naval Air Station versus Air Base. So even though the, these are, some of these places can be home places, but the Naval Air Station, you pay less for it, I think, right? Anyways, let's get one in Palau. Yeah. Okay. So boom. Boom, and then Revol, we'll just have to build that one up ad infinitum as much as we can all the time. What other places need air bases? Probably none. I'm questioning. Okay, maybe North Korea. I guess it's China, sorry. But this area, the Northeast Asia. So we have already two six inch batteries. I'm not a, I mean, Port Arthur maybe. Um, I don't even think a lot of engagements happen in this area. I think a lot of them happen over here. Maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I honestly haven't fought battles in Northeast Asia enough in recent memory to know where the battles are generated. I'm trying to game the system a little bit here. Maybe that's unfair. I think I'll do Downey just because, I mean, that's that's basically six one way, half dozen the other. Downey's further east, so that's good. Port Arthur further south, so that's good. I think Downey in general is going to be better, though, so let's build one Downey. Only takes three months. It's super quick. I don't think we're going to need any other air bases for the moment. We'll have some small air presence in Northeast Asia. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, honestly, both of these guys could should, could get it. Uh, probably not the best time to be spending all the money when we have these four battle cruisers taking up our entire budget. Okay, you guys are Northeast Asia and. I think I'm going to refit you guys. If I don't refit them as a, a carrier, they're going to lose the version which was converted to carrier, which means it would require a new carrier conversion. But I don't think we want... These guys are probably actually, I know it's weird, but better as cruisers now that we're going to satisfy our light carrier requirement in order to get better research. So I am going to do that. I'm just going to, uh, well, oh boy. That's not going to help much. Yikes. This thing is so doomed. I guess I could just, ah, it's going to have to like lose guns. Well, we don't really care about four inch guns. Let's take those down. Get improved director on eight. Like these are old eight-inch guns. What are you doing, Tortuga? I think these are just gonna have to be scrapped. And the Craig Swisons are gonna have to move over. So that's what I'll do. That's what we're doing. The entire Craig Swison is moving over. We will have no armored cruisers in Northern Europe. And we will wait for our new battle cruisers. I don't know if this is going to work, so I'll wait. Oh. Yes. I do want to go and make a air unit, which is going to be, I think, 
all torpedo bombers. You know what? If we come up against fighters, we're just doomed. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I just don't think uh, if you're going to do anything with 12, you, you might as well just go on the offense, right? That's, that's going to be my opinion on that for the moment. They're basically flow plane scouts uh, from the perspective that they're only really meant to scout. If we can do an attack run with them, that's even better. The carrier division. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, the refits are putting them into the same division, but they can't be there anymore. New liberal government wants to reduce arms. Terrible. Just terrible. It's just kind of funny. Why would you why would you say this? Just because of tension? You can just choose the middle one. Yeah, let's choose this. Alright, good. We got the rate of fire penalty for guns below eight inches is finally gone. France looks like uh wait a second. Okay, France is not allied. I, it's the U.S. that's allied with Great Britain. That's right. France has broken their age-old alliance, although they're still at zero, which is scary. I would not mind. I'm going to turn the intel down for Great Britain. I just don't want anything which provokes bad uh, relations. So we're going to try to keep things peaceful. Doing the same thing here. I think with 12 airplanes, you just don't have enough to do anything. You might as well just pff, throw them all in. Okay, air bases are finished. I forgot that we even had a float plane carrier. Uh, some Corvettes. Okay, that's actually good. Lots of alliances expiring. By a lot, I mean, what was that, two or three? Improved de depth charge racks, that's good. Are we not, we're not designing something right now, are we? That's just not, well, to some degree, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> we're gonna get better eventually. Uh, let's do a new float plate scout, I guess. Just keep cycling. And we want... Probably range and reliability on this. That is probably what you want. Feel good about that one. Okay, or air bases where we probably should have people manning those air bases, but the Kaiser floats the idea of trying to improve relations. No. Although France apparently has been given a catch-up budget. They're very advanced. We're behind, for crying out loud. How did that happen? When did that happen? Oh my gosh, my 10 dreadnoughts, and they have 16, but man, oh. Well, we have them in battle cruisers. We have two. Yeah, so we could do this now, right? I think that should hold. I think. Let's go back to that almanac. Oh, we still have some battle battleships. We got to beat there. Huh. Yeah, nobody even has heavy cruisers. I guess no. Uh, uh, wow, that's weird. And we we're gonna lose a whole bunch of those pretty quickly ourselves. Notice that our budget is holding up. We are going with the uh, blockade point strategy, so the light cruisers make sense. Two okay in destroyers. And Corvettes, yeah, that's just our strategy. 
We didn't double down on submarines again. They weren't that effective. Once we're doing, I mean, actually it doesn't make sense to do blockade and submarine. They're mutually exclusive. So my submarine, I honestly, I should just get rid of them. How much really we paid you guys? Well, let's just get rid of the coastals at 64. Uh, we'll let the rest of them fight their way out. Uh, because we just uh, we don't expect that they're going to be useful. Uh, we'll, we'll probably put them in like fleet duty, but they're not going to accomplish much if our goal is to blockade. So, all right, Northeast Asia is just about to. Well, we'll just wait one more. Oh, awesome! The tiger, and therefore the entire showy of which we have twenty four. <laughs> are all going to be a little bit faster than their design speed. That's fantastic. And here they come. Quite a few of them. Ah. I... Um... Russia. Because I... Uh, no. No, no to all. I know they're empty, but they're just not going to do much right now. So at some point when tensions... I mean, look at this. Our monthly balance is positive now. I think we have to mobilize. Yeah, sure. Just mobilize everyone. Budget is only slightly negative. That's fine. Can get rid of these guys to make up the difference, perhaps. Now, what do we have going on here? Sub in West Africa. You guys trades places. So next turn we'll refit these guys. These guys are all in, uh, wait, they're all in New York. Okay, that's gonna make this a lot easier. I am a I just like would be flabbergasted if our best move here was not just to save. Oh yeah, we could have increased gun elevation for the all the old ones for free, but you know whatever. None of these guys were none of the ones we were doing before are really combat vessels anyway. It's still kind of a waste not to do it. It's free, but it's so inconsequential that I'm not going to beat myself up about not doing it. How about that? That's what I would say. Okay, Delphins. Let's get six of you guys back into the Caribbean. So that we can get the other ones refit. And you guys are good. And you were built 1930. You're about to. The Greeks have to. We gotta redo these guys. They're still working up from uh, their old status or something. I don't know. But we're going to redo it. I, I mean, it's free, right? Might as well. Ah, then what else? When they come back, we could swap out the other griefs. We could like just mimic their behavior. Ah, it's going to be a pain to actually do, but oh well. 1918, don't have to refit those, thankfully. It is really cool to see 12 aircraft sitting over here. 12 torpedo bombers. I, I like it. Yeah, these are the ones that we put the non... Uh, so this would have been the perfect uh, way of... Oh, okay, bulges removed, that's fine. Uh, just this is what I was referring to. With like 735, we do anything more... And, you know, okay, like, this difference may not seem like much, like 20 tons for two 3-inch guns, but that is a big difference. See, it's 4 tons just to go up to, from 1.5 to, uh, to 2, but this changes them from shielded gun mounts into armored turrets, and, you know, oh, it probably says the, yeah, the weight, it's a turret, I just look right there. Yeah, yeah, doesn't update. Yeah. Okay, there. Uh, anyway, 
I'm not sure how much my sick voice is like nail on chalkboard, so I will cut this video very short just in case it's like not pleasant. I understand. I'm sorry about that. But you know, we're actually making some pretty good progress. Even just renaming stuff, we're progressing towards war. We're mobilized. Hmm. Yeah, I almost forgot, but I didn't. Gunnery and damage control. What is, does it say what torpedo, I think damage control. I think I want gunnery and damage control. Why? Because night fighting is only going to happen in some of our battles, like in theory, half the time, right? So it's not going to, gunnery obviously is like, I think a no brainer. Torpedoes, we're going to fire a lot of torpedoes, but I think it encourages torpedo launching, better solutions. And we can kind of control that because we are using captain's mode. So it has a, a slightly less of an advantage. But damage control is damage control. And I, I, I just like the idea of having good damage control. I don't know. <laughs> Save my ship. In, in like these battles of attrition, that's that can make a big difference. So I really like it. All right, wait one more turn. Then we can get these guys fit over. I think that's what the plan is. And that's going to mean our balance is good again. Top speed 80, combat rating 75. They never say what load that is under. Hopefully that's not under light load, because if it is, that's just a, an abysmal range. That's terrible. Here's the Russian battle. I just want, Why can't we fight the Russians? Well, we, we might. We, we still could. I would not mind that. Oh, even better. Jump in the war with them. Too bad we're not allied to the Japanese. That would have been... I mean, that's a good time to do it. Uh, what we're doing, we're going to swap out the these guys, right? Yeah, I hope that this just works. I think it has so many ship models now that it didn't even know which one to do. All right, you guys are in West Africa. You guys get it rebuilt. Same kind of thing. Just swap, swap. Ah, let's see. 15 is good. Triers, these guys are going to be out soon. We Honestly, these guys have just got to get scrapped. But we're pretty much at the point of the next war. So we might as well use them on Ford Station, which is all they're doing right now anyway. Oh my god, and the Baltic, no. Get out, get out of there. Or just scrap them? No, let's move them to the, like, the Caribbean or something, I don't know. Indian Ocean? <laughs> it's kind of like my backup deployment area. It's pretty far away from Northern Europe, so it's like a nice stagey ground. From the point that we can't get people from Northern Europe there quickly. So having some, some people there already is good. Um, Karsten. I hope the Indian Ocean could just handle itself for a moment. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Okay. Any other obsolete ones? Because that's that's our main quest right now. Ah, it's clean. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I guess we should probably do something about those air bases. Alright, what do you got? It's slower. Slightly more range, much tougher, no bombs. I don't know about this one. It's so much slower. No, I'm not going to do it. 
But let's go over these air bases, I guess. Can I do it this way? Base overview. I don't think so. Where's it? Aircraft groups. Probably this is where I need to go. All right, let's just add 20 torpedo bombers to all these guys. So just copy, paste, paste, yes, yes, paste, yes, yes. Is it less clicks to do it this way? I don't know. I mean, you can already see how the air management just becomes such a pain in the rear end. <laughs> but that's the system. We, we got to live with it. And eventually, at this point, our naval aircraft uh, maintenance expense is going to get very, very expensive. Not yet, obviously. We're just, we just laid it down, but it'll get there. Okay, lots of things being reconstructed. Well, this is usually a decision where we can eke out a bit more money. But, yeah, I mean, our prestige is high enough. We don't really need to do the top one. Tension high is actually kind of good, though. Because we do want to go to war, but, you know, what? we don't get to choose it, so let's do this one. All right, wow, we got four options for the float planes. Was it always that way? Speed-wise, this one's a winner. Range-wise, this one's the winner. So we got these bottom two, which appear like the best options. Range is really more important than speed on float planes. It really is. Because um, sometimes even like their loiter, loiter time is, is good. The fact that they don't move quick is, I mean, the way I think it works. Game doesn't tell you exactly how it works, but. Uh, not that I care about the extra maneuver, but it's there. Yeah, I think we got to go with this one. It's pretty fast too. And the range is better. And I think with the. The great thing about this one is it, it can probably just straight up replace. First, it has a bomb. It can re replace the other two. And it's going to have higher reliability. The other two didn't have good reliability, which means we can just straight up dismiss the original flow plane scouts, uh, retire them, or obsolete them as soon as the new one's ready. Of these two, I think we do need to obsolete the very low range one. That's like the only thing a float plane scout is supposed to do is go scout, and they need range to do that. So we'll, we'll take matters into our own hands and do that. I probably uh, need to get a new aircraft. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's just how often you're refreshing the, the roll. And even if you miss for like a couple years... The new one you designed is going to be better than the other ones anyway because it's more, it's later, right? New technology moving forward. A scandal with the U.S. Well, they're not allied with the British anymore, so we don't really care. Okay, I forgot I was doing that, but look, it's amazing. We have a positive monthly balance. It's, it's, it's great. Let's get a new aircraft, and then we'll probably call the video to a close. Just so, yeah, we get back on proper recordings <laughs> for next time. What do we want? Well, it's got to be another torpedo bomber, I think. I think range and speed is the way to go with these guys. Oh, bomb load is also pretty good as is toughness, as is reliability. Could go range reliability. Why don't we try that? See what we get. All right, I'll wrap it up here then. Shorter episode, like I said. Sorry about it. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Until the next one, thanks for watching, and take care.